All right, so we're gonna tie a danger muffin crab for you. This is a really good permit fly, and anything else that wants to eat a crab. Uh, I have a SC15 one knot hook in here, and got a blank hook in there in the vise. Put a little bead of zappa gap in there, and gonna take some lead wire and just over top of that super glue. Just runs straight down to the eye of the hook, over top of that zappa gap, break off, eighth of an inch or so away from the eye of the hook and start some flat wax nylon, whatever color you want. Just kind of cover up that lead. Trim off any excess. And then I'm going to take some, some medium dumbbell eyes. This is a size two. Move my thread up right where that lead wire ends. Couple of figure eights to get it started. A little bit more Zappa gap once you get them tied down. And kind of up and over those lead eyes, build up some thread, and then around those tight wraps to kind of lock them down. Before that glue dries, make sure they're perpendicular. I'm going to move my thread down to the very end of the hook. Next, I'm going to take, this is a mix of rabbit fur and deer hair. In this case, I'm going to take a light colored one. So some golden brown deer hair, some bleached deer hair, and then some white rabbit fur. Really good for any kind of light colored bottom wherever you are fishing. Going to take a bunch and just sneak it up there, tie a looser wrap around, lash it down. Do another one. Loose wrap around, gather it all up, pull it tight. Takes quite a bit of rabbit into your hair. Each uh, wrap you do, you kind of hand stack it and get a good amount to tie in. The biggest ones we do are kind of right in the middle and as you fade in and out of the fly, Maybe you do a little bit less. And 
Then once you get to the lead eyes, you pretty much finish off the fly. Do a little half hitch in there, whip finish if you want to. Then from there, we have kind of a mess on our hands, but I'm gonna pull out any loose fibers I have on either side of the fly. Just kind of spread them out. And I'm gonna come in here with my scissors and cut the very top of the fly flat. Get rid of those fibers. Maybe pull it out to the sides again. And then once we have it somewhat flat, come in and cut the shape of the crab. This is going to be the shell, the important part. And we're just going for an approximate shape. I would say go conservative on this part because you can always do more later. So not quite what we're looking for. But we're going to take our scissors coming down on a shallow angle and see how fat that is right there. We're going to come and trim. Some off the top on that side, some off the top on this side. And then once we have those, we're going to take it out of the vise. We're going to do the rest of this part in our hand. And we're just going to stay within the dimensions of this hook. You're right to the edge of that hook. And get a nice clean shape within the dimensions of the eye in the band of this hook. Just make a nice clean shape and then trim it down with whatever is sticking up. And we've pretty much got our shape that we want to. And we're going to add in a bunch of legs and claws and eyeballs and elbows into that. Next thing we're going to do is take some zap goo and put a about a pea size amount right on the top of that. And take a <clears throat> spare hook or a bodkin, whatever you have handy. And just kind of stir it into that.
Next, we're going to lay some claws in there, which is from Pat Cohen. Some laser cut claws out of some microfiber. And lay those in on the sides. Use your scissors or your fingers or whatever to kind of drop those in on the sides. That zap goo is super sticky. All you have to do is kind of touch it. Next, we're going to take some tan ultra micro chenille and lay those in for some eyeballs. Like so. Position those however you want them. Then we're going to take some white micro chenille and lay in some legs. So we have four pieces on one side. We're just going to lay those in and just touch them. Take four more. Lay those in on the other side. Just like so. And we're going to take a little bit more zappa gap because we have a lot of dry surface area right here. Drop in just a tiny little bit of the zap goo in there. We're going to take a piece of furry foam. This has been approximated to the size, but we're going to dial it down just a little bit further. And Drop that in right on top of that zap goo. And then once we have the bottom of the crab kind of approximated and kind of tied down with that zap goo, I'm going to maybe move those legs into their final position. Spread them out a little bit. Give them a spread. Then once you have them kind of spread out like that, just apply some pressure and try and tie them down. Got a couple that are sticking out, just kind of spread them out and
one comes out, just lift up that little flap. Stick it right back in there. Try to apply some pressure and get them down. From there, we have a bunch of long legs and we're just going to come in on a slight angle, trim flush on one side and the other. We've got our danger muffin crab.